In today's episode of the Aussie Flipper, we discuss whether or not it's even worth selling DVDs on eBay in today's market. To save yourself time and stress, and to make yourself more money for less work, please don't do this anymore. I drop into the flea market to see what we can find to sell on eBay. I'd go 50 is for the lot. You'll do it? Let's do it. And we're in the garage to pick and pack the weekend sales orders. Another figure. Another collectible item. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. It's going to be a massive video. We've got a whole lot more in store. Enjoy. A little mini. Four bucks. That's pretty good. I'm tempted to take it. I'm tempted. You can never buy the first item you see. That's a rule. You gotta have a think. Sure, if this one works, mate. Sure does. Sure does. How much you got on it? Forty. Mate. Forty. Okay. That's it there. VLE 980E. Duke Nukem, time to kill, $40. These are good. Uh, 18 each. Oh, wow. No, we won't do that. Are they 18 each though? Yeah. No, nah, I'll pass on that, that's fine. They're probably, they're probably the best ones. A little worn though. You could, definitely. Yeah, New Balance is so popular. There are nine, a men's nine. There's only three in Australia. Uh, no. Nah. So there's a lot for sale, but no solds. There's only three, three that have sold. Let's see, I want these. Good morning. How much? How much were we thinking? So give me a prize. What, tell me what you think. I'd go 50 for the lot. You'll do it? Let's do it. How low could I have gone? No, I'm, right, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll get you a bag. Yeah, thank you. Very quiet this morning, hey? Ah. I'm shocked by that. Is it like the echo's on? Oh, okay. Honestly, shouldn't go like not. Stop. It's not here. <laughs> Brisbane, right? It's good for you that it's a bit quieter because everyone's just going to come to your booth, aren't they? Amazing. Thanks heaps. Good to see you guys. Bit of a letdown this morning at the flea. We just grabbed what we saw last week. These Motion Plus controllers, they should go for about 100 for PS3. And then we've got a console which we can sell off untested because um, there's no cables. So 50 into maybe 140. It's not the best. It's a very, very quiet morning out here. There's no vendors in this space where there normally is tons. See, it's all just completely empty. So, we're gonna go get some breakfast. Hasn't been the best start to our Monday morning, has it, Courtney? No, why is that? Well, it's a miserable old day out here. It's, it's raining, but we've actually had a leak there's a leak around this light and it's been dripping. You'll see there. Ew. Pretty bad. And I also have this box and the box has got a ton of wet DVDs. So I've just moved it across to the side and you're probably all thinking, turn that light off immediately and we will. We just wanted to film this what sold really quickly um, and then we will attend to that and I'll probably have you in a dark room, I reckon, Courtney. Lovely. Yeah. Um, 30,000 subscribers as well. How good. On yeah. a lighter note, a more exciting note. Yeah. 
Um, 30K. 30K, there it is there. I didn't buy these for myself, which some people probably think. Uh, Kate, my girlfriend, came and brought these over and said congratulations. Um, so cute. So yeah, a very, very big milestone. Thank you very much to those that subscribed to the channel to get us there. And those that have, uh, those that have watched over the course of the last four years, four years and one month, we've been making videos on YouTube. Um, so yeah, let's get to 50,000 as soon as we can. Um, some numbers. Right now, it's a bit like the water leak. It's a tough month on eBay for us at the moment. We're two weeks in, uh, or 12, this is the 12th day of the month, and we're averaging $260 in sales every single day. And we normally average about 350. If you watch the channel, you'll know these numbers. Um, so 260 is well below what we normally do. Um, not that we've slowed up in our listing process, which is the toughest thing to kind of try to work out. Um, we've been consistently listing every day, we've been doing all the little things right, yet our sales have been less. So that's just the ebbs and flows of selling on eBay. I'm not too concerned about it. I would be concerned if it stays for another two weeks. Um, but if we can pick up for the end of August and, and round out you know, a nine to $10,000 uh, month in sales, I won't be too disappointed. But we are gonna keep an eye on it. We're just in a bit of a, a lull at the moment with our sales. Let us know how you're going with your sales. Um, if they're, they're low or if you're having a killer month, um, we have a surprise box. Check this out. It just arrived before we turn the camera on. And it's really heavy too, Courtney. Mm. Really, really heavy too, yeah. So we're going to open that up a little bit later in the video. Um, pretty excited to see what's in it. I won't say too much more than that. But uh, we also have a bunch of sales to take you through. We had a $426 day yesterday. It was our best pretty much our best day of the week. So there's some good sales to take you through. There's gonna be seven in the uh, what sold today. And uh, Courtney's gonna do the first one. All right, we're starting from the lowest. Is that number seven? Would that be number seven? Seven. One. Yeah, seven. So first one here, DVD. This is one that Matt found last week, actually. This is the complete anthology WrestleMania. We got a $30 sale price for this. Um, so yeah, I only listed that up on one day last week. So really, really fast turnaround. And another one coming in at six is this DVD set, Roseanne, the complete seventh to ninth season, brand new and sealed. We got a $35 sale price for that one as well. So that was also a last week purchase. So fast turnaround. Really quick turnover products to DVDs and obviously it helps as well being uh, brand new and sealed, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, look out for your sealed DVDs whenever you're sourcing them. Yeah. Um, now these were one of, I think three pairs of shoes that we had sell over the weekend. Um, I would have really thought that these might have sold for a little bit more money. I think we at one point had them priced up for about $70. Uh, these are a pair of Ultra Boosts, but I really like just the colorway. Um, I bought these for $12, and I think they were purchased at the flea market from memory. Um, and we ended up selling these for $40 on a best offer. And we even dropped the price down over the course of a few weeks as well. We went from 70 to 60 to 50, getting no results, a bunch of watches. And then we're like, man, when are these things gonna move? And we had them at 50 and then we took a best offer at 40 just to get them out the door. The size is a men's nine. So it's not like the size, it's like a small shoe or anything. Yeah. Um, I just thought it might have been a popular colorway, but it doesn't appear to have been. Mm. Um, we'll go ahead and put it into a small satchel like we always do. We just throw them into the bag like that. Um, you never need any bubble wrap or anything with shoes. You don't need to infill with butcher's paper. It's a very basic throw it into a satchel. That's why we love to sell them. Another pair of shoes. Another pair of shoes, a woman's pair this time. One of the um, things we wanted to mention was one of our first tasks that we do on eBay every morning is we'll send out a 5% offer on all of our best watches that are looking at certain products just to catch them while they're looking at it and hopefully grab them their attention like what happened with these shoes. So we actually had these listed for $85 and Matt sent off the 5% that morning and they purchased them for $80.75. So they would have been looking at it, caught their attention grabbed them women's us what are these a nike Nine. vapor they're on vapor max yeah it's a really good high-end brand high-end yeah. shoe yeah and an 80 dollars sale price is pretty epic the only thing about these they probably sat around for a little bit they did yeah i think the sell-through rate on those for quite a while but the best offer got the sale and that's how we get a lot of our sales yeah are you a fan of star wars not really nah <laughs> thought that might have been the case <laughs> uh neither am i Oh. So I can't help you with who this guy is, but it is Emperor Palpatine. It's pretty freaky, actually. Pretty freaky, yeah. Collectible, collectible bust. Mm -hmm. We actually have a lot of these busts. If you have a look here, this Battlestar Galactica bust, I bought that off a separate person. Um, 
This Star Wars one, we actually just bought it. Kind of wish I didn't take that out then. Yeah. Um, this uh, Star Wars one, we actually only bought last Wednesday. And a lot of these busts, for some reason, are collectible, um, you know, 0554 of 4,500. So it's, it's a collector's item. And Star Wars is obviously the reason why I went ahead and bought it, because I know that is a big collector's market out there. It will be a little bit to ship off, Courtney, no doubt. Yeah. Um, that might cost us $15, do you think? Yeah, but how much did we get for it? We sold it for 95. Yeah. Yeah, I hacked, we listed this up for 120. Mm -hmm. And even though I bought it on Wednesday, I still took a $95 best offer yeah. um, because I just wanted to get a quick sale out of that bulk buy that we did. I went mm -hmm. and did a, bit, a big bulk buy for, I didn't film it, mm -hmm. um, but I bought, uh, I drove about an hour and a half north last Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And this is where all of this has come from, which we didn't really talk about in the intro. Um, but it was mainly DVDs that we bought, plus a few little action figures and some jerseys and bits and pieces. But we're going to be talking about these DVDs uh, a little bit later today uh, as to the reason why a lot of them won't be listed. But um, this was a great sale that came out of this purchase. A $95 sale that'll cost $15 to ship. We'll put it into a box with some bubble wrap and some butcher's paper. And yeah, as much as Courtney and I aren't Star Wars fans, it's definitely a good sort of a product to try and sell. Mm -hmm. Another figure. Another collectible item. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Leatherface. Obviously boxed. Um, we Matt got this at the flea a little while ago for fifty dollars. Um, one thing to mention with this is when we listed it, it's actually the comps are going for about one hundred and seventy dollars. But as you can see here, it is a collectible item. So this in the box is going to affect the price and the sale as well. So we just made sure we took photos of all of this, so you can still sell it. You just have to adjust your pricing and take photos and it's still got a sale price of 120. We did, did you list it for 170 and try? Initially, yeah. yeah. Comp said 170, we went for it, but I think it's because of this, right? Yeah, but still a 120 sale price, pretty good. But yeah, heaps of bubble wrap, heaps of butcher's paper and a box to protect it. We've got a couple of boxes up here, so we might have to go to Bunnings to find an appropriately sized box, but that was a big sale. Yeah. Yeah, big exclusive. I don't know what year it is. It is a... 2005. So that's pretty cool. Mm. Find these old school action figures and they do pretty well, especially if they're boxed. Yeah. And here was our best sale of the weekend. These came through, I think it was yesterday or it might have been Saturday night. Um, can't exactly remember. Um, but these Ariat boots were the second pair of boots that we bought when we were at the flea market a few weeks ago. Hopefully you guys tuned into that video. It was the best buy that we did that day. Um, we bought two of these boots for $50 each. So we spent $100. Um, but both of these boots have converted into $150 worth of sales. Now, the reason why the guys at the flea market that were selling them didn't want to put them onto eBay, one was their size. They didn't actually want to go ahead to try to ship this off. Um, we're going to have to put that into a low-lying box. Mm. Um, but it's actually probably only going to ship for about, I think, $20 at most. Um, I think that's what, what the other pair that we sold ended up shipping off for, about $20. Yeah. Um, but they also were a bit tentative because the shoe was a sample. Um, so here it is here, it's sales sample. So I, I found out from them as well, because they'd done some research on it, that Ariat, I don't know if all shoe brands do the same thing, but US 7 is the size for potentially mannequins, oh. stock standard mannequins. So these are a size 7 to fit a mannequin, and I think the Ariat guys were just like, let's just display these and we'll keep them as a sample shoe and we won't sell them. Mm. So that's how they got their hands on them. And then we were like, we'll just give it a go. We'll mention that it's a sample shoe. It's brand new. Mm. Uh, and we'll try and go high end at 150 and we got the full asking price of 150. So good. So Ariat boots, make sure you're looking out for those. They're a big, big item. So there you go, guys. There were seven over there that we went through, but then there were all of these that we're putting into the mailbag as well. We've got an Xbox. We've got a number of different TV shows here that we're going to put into small satchels. Just a pair of basic ASICs running shoes. Uh, these Disney portals go okay. We got about $19 on that. Uh, $23 on a pair of jeans, pair of Levi's. Uh, this game sold for about 17 This card here was an EB Games exclusive that went to the US. We got about $80, including postage for that. Um, some PlayStation 1 games there as well that Courtney's going to put into a box. So, unfortunately, we don't have enough bubble wrap and we don't have enough boxes. So, Courtney's going to run out there right now. Mm -hmm. And once she's done the post, we're going to dive into these DVDs. And we're also, we're also going to be doing the surprise box. <laughs> might get you to open that one up a bit later, Courtney.
All right, I have got a mentoring session to do now. Um, I do these pretty much once a day now. It's really started to pick up and that's awesome because I'm really trying to get as many of these sessions done as I can for people. Um, I find that they're really beneficial. The, the, the response from these, uh, these, these calls have been great and that's motivated me to keep doing them. And today I've got Pascal. He's from America and he's looking to just get started with selling on eBay. So I'm looking forward to jumping on the call. I think it's his Sunday night over there, Monday morning for us in Australia, so that works. I'm looking forward to having a really good hour with him. Pascal. Hey Matt, how you doing? I'm doing well, mate. How are you doing? Uh, pretty all right. Up and down, I'm still around. <laughs> You're still doing your thing. That's awesome. Check it out, guys. My sister is off to Europe tomorrow morning. She's off for nine weeks on a big Euro trip. So Monday night dinner is over at my place tonight, and I've gone with the Italian theme. What do you guys think? I actually don't mind it. Gone to a bit of extra effort here on this one and hopefully she appreciates it. I'm doing that because I can't really go to too much extra effort when it comes to cooking because I'm terrible and I'm in fear of making them all sick before she goes off to Europe. So uh, I've got the Dolmio spaghetti sauce. The spicy peppers is the one that I like the most. Um, we've got some pasta, we've got some veg. I'm gonna do my standard spaghetti and then I'm hoping with this nice little layout on the tabletop. And I'm gonna do a little bit of European trivia as well. That's gonna be my added little extra touch. We do Monday night dinners every single Monday night. It's either at my place, my sister's place, or mum and dad's place. And we just rotate it every single Monday night. And it's just so much, uh, so happened to be the case that it's fallen tonight on my place before my sister heads off to Europe tomorrow. So, big night tonight. I'm prepped, I'm ready. Hopefully she has a good night. Do you know what's in it or? Uh, so this, this has come from a very, very, very nice viewer of the channel by the name of Rick. Rick's off to America in a couple of days time and I got a random email from him and he said, I watch you guys, love the channel and I know that you guys would love this stuff. And then he goes, just give me your address and I'll send it all out to you. Mm -hmm. So Rick, thank you very much for this because we need some stock. We're gonna be going through this a little bit later in the video, but before we do, I just wanna get in there and just see what's in there. Um, because this is what you'll be listing up pretty much this afternoon, I'd say, Courtney. Mm -hmm. Let's set the camera up and we'll dive into it. <laughs> what we got? Video games on top. Pretty good start. Some video games. That's what we got there. We got Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. Ooh. Don't think that's amazing. Madden 11, I don't think it's amazing either. But what we do, what do we do when they aren't amazing? Bundle them. We're going to bundle them. So it'll probably be a bundle. This looks epic though. Look at this. Yeah. Game Boy Color, and it's got a game in it. Tetris DX on Game Boy. So I don't know if that goes for anything, Tetris DX. But then the case, there's no corrosion. It's obviously what you got to look at when you're in the Game Boys. But these these Game Boys go for about $100. How you go? Yep, good. <laughs> um, 100 bucks. They go for about $100, these Game Boys. Yeah. So that's bloody epic mm. um, the fact that we didn't pay for this as well guys we've got to make sure that's known rick has literally just sent us these goodies um, for us to be able to list up and sell so rick thank you very much that right there is literally all you could have sent and i would have been over the moon so literally can't wait to see what else is in here the firm the complete series of the firm so i don't i haven't heard of that title but because it's a complete series that could mm. be worth a bit we'll put the comps up on screen for anything that's really good oh this one's big is it joey yeah, that's a big DVD. It's only the first season, but I think the second season goes for a lot of money. Mm. Some mothers do have them. It's what, what's really nice in here is that Rick knows that we love our TV shows, so I'm not seeing too many movies in here. This one could be good. This one is one that I actually haven't heard of. It's called Kenny vs. Spenny, and I've got three seasons there from Rick. Oh, this will be good. We've got Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman season one, two, and three. Oh, we've got another Game Boy game. Mm. Game Boy Gallery 3. You got another one too. And another one. Another Tetris. So we've got Tetris DX and standard Tetris. I think that Tetris game, I'm pretty sure that Tetris game is only a $20 game. But what we might do is sell it as a bundle with the Game Boy console is what I'm thinking. This one could be okay. This is Game Boy, there it is there, Game Boy Gallery 3. <laughs> Uh, we've got the Chaser. This one I think could be worth some money. The Chaser Election Collection. One to seven. 
one to seven of the Big Bang. That'll be okay. We'll be able to list that one up. Mixed up. Some, it looks like the Chasers guys. Oh, that could be good. He was my favorite wrestler. Jeff Hardy, Hardy Boys, Jeff and Matt Hardy. These wrestling DVDs do pretty well. Yeah. So that could be actually all right. 2001. Yeah. Like it? Oh, we've got another one. Tropical Pleasure, the Divas. The WWE Divas. Oh. Might have to watch that before I saw it. <laughs> uh, the Practice, Perfect Strangers. Hold on. There it is there, Perfect Strangers. Looks like a few double ups, but it does also look like we do have a one to six of The Office. So season one to six of The Office. How much Ooh. more have we got? We've got a lot in there. That's one to something. Oh, this is a big allocation of season one to ten of two and a half men. So two and a half men, is that all that's in there? Because there's it's more. That and that now. Okay, so two and a half men, that sells actually really well. That'd be like a $50, $60 listing, I think, on memory. Mm. Um, so that's epic. Pretty crazy. That's so nice. So, so nice of uh, Rick to do that. Enjoy the trip to America, Rick. Um, this was all literally stuff that he had lying around the house. He actually said on the email that he doesn't sell on eBay. Oh. And that's the reason why we're, we're getting our hands on it. He was, he was going to probably do just donate these items. Um, but he said to us, you know what? I know that Matt and Courtney would love to list this stuff up, so we'll send it across. And he even paid for postage, which is yeah. wildly kind. Yeah. So thank you very much. Courtney is going to go ahead and list this up yeah. right now. Uh, all right, so I've just screen recording here to show you guys what we do to try and work out how much something is worth. The best thing that Rick's been able to give us is this Game Boy Purple. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to see how good's the sell-through rate. More out of curiosity because we've already bought the item, so we don't really care so much about sell-through rate now that we own it. Um, but it is still nice to know uh, when we're going to get our sales back. Um, so I'm just going in here and I'm just we've, I'm just checking the filters that Courtney's got here on her phone and she's got the sold filters locked out. She's got condition, is new. I'm just going to go into item location and I'm going to say Australia only. So we're now looking at Game Boy Color Purple, the exact uh, right colorway. And it shows here that there's 103 sales results for the purple, which is pretty good. 103 sales in the last 90 days. And then if we go into filter and we take off the sold comps, we'll be able to see how many active listings there are on eBay. And there's only 36 listings. So there's 36 listings for this right now available on eBay Australia, but yet there's 103 sales for this Game Boy. So first of all, from a sell-through rate perspective, I think Corny and I are going to be able to sell this Game Boy really quickly. The only thing that's going to hold us back from selling it though, is what we list it up for. And... I'm going to go back into the filter and I'm going, to, I'm going to select sold. I'm just going to lock them out because we always like to just check solds. Um, so locking out the solds, if I scroll through the list of, of price points here, I can see there's a lot of boxed ones going for about $380. And then the next ones down here I'm seeing just have games accompanying the device. So there's a $285 here for Game Boy Purple plus some Pokemon games. And that obviously really elevates the price when you start putting Pokemon games into the mix. Um, there is a different colorway here going for 250 but that doesn't look like a match for us. It's actually this first one here, but this one in the title says Original Purple Game Boy plus 5 games, Zelda included, at $200. So again, it's not quite at the price point that we want to be going with. Um, I'm just going to keep scrolling all the way down here until I find a match that just is console only. Here we go. Actually, there's quite a few here. So now we're in more of the ballpark of what we're looking at. So we've got a purple Game Boy, authentic, tested and working, selling for $160. It looks like $160 is the best price that we're going to get for this thing. The next one down, I can see $149 plus $10, and then I can see another $159. So there's been three sales so far at that $160. I'm going to keep scrolling down, moving past all the different colors of, Pokemon, of games. Carry case, we don't have that. Okay, now here's a few more around the $145 to $140. I'm going to keep scrolling, 139, 138, 130, and then we're hitting some 100 and, well, no, we're still 130, 130. So when you start to see the same number roll around, like the $130 price point that we've got, there's a couple of 120s in here as well. I think based on what we're seeing this at, based on where our store is at, 
I think we could comfortably go ahead and sell this device for $130 based on what we've just had a look at here on eBay. Uh, we're not the top end, we're not going to list it for $160 and we're not going to list it for the lower end around $100 either because we're an established store, we've got a lot of video games in our store. We're going to go for the mid-range price point, we're going to go for $130, bucks. we are going to list it up console only and I think based on the sell-through rate that we looked at, this should sell within one, maybe two weeks at most. Not bad. It hasn't rained again today. And I've left the light on and we seem to be okay. There's a lot coming tonight. Is there? I might get a bucket and put a bucket right here. Yeah. Place is falling apart, Courtney. I don't. <laughs> um, can you imagine that if the roof just collapsed in here? I've experienced that in someone's house before. Have you? Yes, it was... Were you in it? Y yes, I was in it. It was like a... Cr it was like horrific. Yeah, I can imagine, especially with all this stock in here too. That would be Scary. absolutely disastrous. Yeah. Um, now, guys... Pretty blown away by all of that from Rick. Yeah. Um, that will be you today, Courtney. There'll be over $500 in value there. Yeah. Without a doubt. So we've got today's listing sorted maybe a bit into tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, all for free, which is just insane. This one is a bit of a headache though. This is a big bulk buy that I bought off um, Jesse. Um, a ton of DVDs that, to be honest with you if, you, if you, if I was looking at this maybe six to 12 months ago, I would have been very excited. Um, and now I'm not so much excited with what's left over. Don't get me wrong, I've already pulled out and with Courtney and I, I've already listed almost a week's worth of DVDs that were great box sets that we were able to list up for some seriously good money. So the bulk buy was a good one. It's just that this is what's left over of the bulk buy. And it's almost a case, I believe, of potentially going ahead and donating or at least putting on Facebook Marketplace a small cost to get this one just out the door. Mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to really deal with too much more than... 10% of this stock and I'm, I'm, I, thought to, I thought it'd be worth putting into the video today to show you guys why because I think when you go out and you do your thrifting you might see this Outback Truckers um, which is actually a great show uh, it, it does sell for like upwards of 150 odd dollars if you've got a complete series set but I've had a look in here and we've only got season five and this might be only 50 cents in the thrift store but if I do my research on Outback Truckers which I'll turn the uh, screen record on as well Outback Truckers Season 5 DVD. There are 25 sales for this one. And then if we go into the solds, there are six sales. So 25 listings, only six sales tells us this one's a fairly slow sell through rate. And the full season sets, like I mentioned, about $135, but you'd need nine seasons of that. So we've got to scroll down, and as you can see, there's literally nothing on an individual basis apart from a brand new copy that went for $35. I just look at that and I just think, there's no real point because you're probably listing this up for maybe $15 in the pre-owned condition that it is, and there's no individual disc sales either. And we've got to put this into a, an envelope that's going to cost us about $6.50. So $6.50 to ship it, plus a $15 sale price, you're not gonna to make too much in the way of profit for the effort and the energy to list it up and ship it off. Um, so we kinda of need to do that for all of these DVDs. And here's another example of upper middle, up, upper middle bogan. If we type in upper middle bogan, this one here, we've got a sale of $12.50, and then we've got two sales at around five dollars and then an eight and a five it's just not worth it mm. so again you're going to need multiple seasons of that show for it to be worthwhile i wouldn't even then go and check the sell through rate i would just on price alone just say no to that dvd um, this one here could be okay because this is three seasons of the tv show love child um, so let's just do a quick check of that. That one might be all right. The, the thing to take into consideration with something like this is it's going to have to go into a small satchel. It won't be able to fit into an envelope. So if we type in Love Child DVD, we get season one to four selling for $25. There was a season one and two selling for $25. Another one to four for $25. So it looks like one to four is a complete season set, but it's at best a $25 sale. And we've only got three seasons of this show. There's a comp there going for about $18.
and there's another one going for eighteen dollars as well. So there's two comps to say that's worth about eighteen bucks. Mm. Now Courtney and I typically don't bother listing that item up. That might be a dollar each in the thrift store. It could be two dollars, but two dollars into eighteen dollars, needing to go into a small satchel. The small satchel is going to cost us with our Australia Post discount eight dollars and fifty cents. So that brings it down to a nine dollar fifty sale price, and eBay take their fees too. eBay will then take their fees as well. So enough. So maybe eight dollars by the yeah. end of it. You can put it into the e-profit calculator to find out. Yeah. But that that going into a small satchel for an eighteen dollar sale price, when you break it all down to its true profit, even though we've got thirty two sales results of all different kinds of this show, and then if we go and check out the sell through rate. Well, the sell-through rate says that there's 338 uh, listings mm. of this oh show. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Yeah. So that's even more a reason why you would just, if you were unsure, say it was worth 20 to $25. Yeah. On sell-through rate, you know that there's 338 listings trying to sell this TV show. And then when you go into the actual sales of the TV show, there's 32. That's but like... Would you have listed that a couple of years ago? Great point. I would have. Yeah. Because I, I would never have cross-referenced this information. And yeah. then I would sit here and complain after six months as to why it hasn't sold. Yeah. To get this one to sell, looking at the price points that we were looking at, $18 seemed to be the price. But to get a quicker sell-through rate, we'd probably have to sell it for 15 Yeah. And then that's really putting us out of the ballpark of going ahead and doing it. Yeah. So when I first started selling DVDs on, on eBay, I used to buy anything whether it be movie or TV show. And then I realized that the movies, typically speaking, were all kind of like these single uh, season TV shows. They're all sort of priced between five to $15. And I would still try and sell them back in the day. And you would be able to, there was definitely room to make margin, but you would just get horrible sell through rates <laughs> and you would build up an entire third bedroom like I did with these really cheap DVDs that weren't ultimately making you much money. And then I moved to what we're looking at right now with this bulk buy, and I said to myself, sell through rate is better for a TV show season, even though it's still five to fifteen dollars, they sell quicker, so let's just sell the TV shows only. And then a part of that as well was obviously selling the big box sets that we would get and they would sell for much more money. And then as time's gone on and Australia Post has increased their price points, I've looked at it and gone, I don't even want to be doing TV show single seasons anymore, even with a slightly better sell through rate. I just want to go ahead and list up the big bulk TV show allocations like Two and a Half Men that we got from Rick. Mm. Um, we've got um, Big Bang Theory 1 to 7 over there. We've got Big Bang in here, but we've only got seasons 1 and 2 and 3. Mm. And when you look at all of these numbers, you know that they don't go for too much money, so we're not bothering to do it anymore. And I think that's a really important educational um, piece of information for you guys to consider when you're selling DVDs. How much money are you actually making? Um, and then for us, I think a lot of this that we're seeing right here in front of us won't be making us a lot of money. So we're probably not going to bother to list it up. We're probably, like I said before, going to go on Facebook with it uh, or try and sell it on, uh, actually just try and donate it and get it out the door. But like Chicago Fire, season, see he's got four DVDs, but they're a mix of season one and three. I just wouldn't be listing that up. No. Season one and three, all of that I would donate or get rid of on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. So to save yourself time and stress and to make yourself more money for less work, please don't do this anymore if you are. Please just in the DVD game because it has changed. The postage prices have gone up, which makes it tougher. And it's also become slightly more saturated. So many more people are trying to sell these things now than they used to. I would just focus on TV show box sets only. And I'd keep donating this stuff or at least if you buy it or see it at a thrift store. I would pass on it. So there you go, guys. A massive Monday all wrapped up with a bit of learnings along the way as well. I've got Monday night dinner to go and prepare. Going to do my spaghetti. Going to nail that. Send my sister off on a good note. Appreciate you being here for this one, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the next one, which will be this video over here. Join me over there for that. We'll see you soon.